I'm taking it day by day. Um, I'm just trying to improve on my game. You know, take the coaching points from Coach Callahan and make sure I'm just improving and becoming the most consistent offensive lineman I can. And you know, I don't. I'm not concerned with the future. And I mean, obviously everyone is a little bit, but I'm just saying, like, you got to be, you got to have it. You got to be on your stuff now. And if, you know, you can't just. Oh well, now I'm here, so I can just you know be cool with that. No, it doesn't work that way. So you always got to be constantly fighting for your job every day. So. We saw a lot of guys shuffling around different positions, trying different things. How important is it to, to have, I guess, something set by the start of the season? What, what does that continuity do for you? Or, or is it the sort of thing that, I guess, maybe it doesn't matter. They're just going to plug people in and it'll work for you. Um, I mean, we all work together quite a bit um, in practice anyways. I mean, we got guys shifting all over the place. So it would be pretty smooth transition anyway. But, I mean, I think there is something to say for having, you know, a unit work together all the time and um, at least – you know, come season, come closer to the season, and yeah, not the yeah, right, now. right. Yeah. The coach guy, did he recruit you, or, or was no? He I was just... uh, I was a year too young. Okay, gotcha. Um, the year before me, I believe, was his last recruiting class. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Are there any similar... maybe two years? I'm not sure about that. Was there are there any similarities for some of the stuff you did in college? Was there any trickle down from his time there, or was it was there no carryover uh, from his as far as like the coaching and the techniques and style of not that I know of no because okay. I didn't know what he did when he was there okay I mean, gotcha there was no assistance left over then I don't think him. so I think okay. we had a new offensive line coach okay to your point about always fighting for your job what was your reaction when you hear the news about Chris Chester um you know you're always sad to see a good man a good guy go I mean I was I was so fortunate to be able to play under him and learn a lot from him he was a not only a, a great player but a you know a good person and a very savvy vet who's been in this game a long time and um I mean that's just the way this business is and but the flip side is, personally, that could mean a lot for you as far as opportunity. Yeah, there's no denying that. But um, like I said, we try not to focus on that as players at all. You just come in and take care of your business. Thanks. What is it growth-wise, if you look at yourself from last year to this year, where are some of the biggest strides that you feel like you've made? Um, I know you're still you're learning everything. New yeah, yeah. And everything, but, um, you know, just the overall mental, you know, mental aspects of the game, being able to understand the, the full offense of what we're doing and why we're doing it and just the little intricacies like four and three by one or two by two and all that stuff and what this what this means if it's, you know, two backs in the backfield, one back, you know, empty pro or anything like that. Just the little nuances of the whole scheme, the whole picture, Good. stuff like that. And then being able to transition easier into the tempo of the game. You change your number too? Yeah. What was the story behind uh, that? So we've been 61. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's either that or change my email address. So. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest difference for you going to this fall, health? Uh, yeah. Um, health's good. I feel great. Um, knee was like, knee was a little, little weak, you know, last OTAs because I was, it was the first time I'd played football on it since I was injured. But uh, that went away by camp and I'm feeling pretty good, feeling healthy.